All right, so the question is how to create a gradient that quote unquote wraps around an object. Um, and essentially what this is is a conical gradient. Uh, this is something that used to be really common in like Corel Draw, but Illustrator for whatever reason just never supported it. So I'll uh, show you how to do that. And there's a bunch of tutorials out there that will uh, that'll walk you through it, but it's a really simple process. So let's uh, create some simple shapes here. start with just a circle and some rectangles and I want to align these so that they match up with the points and we'll duplicate this down I'm using alt and shift it's not showing up correctly on screen <coughs> all right now I'm gonna reverse those and I'm going to take this and duplicate it. Now, let's get rid of the outline and let's give it a gradient. And I'm going to assume these are probably the two colors used. Uh, close. But for what we're doing, it's perfectly fine. So we're going to need the circle as well. And I always like to work off the artboard. Um, little area out here. I can make as many duplicates as I want and they never really show up. So now you need to go into your options and we're going to go to envelope distort and envelope options. You want to crank your fidelity all the way up and check all of these boxes off. So set it to clipping mask. And hit OK. And now I'm going to convert this into a gradient. But I'm going to make it a radial gradient. And then we're going to go to Object, Expand. And you want to make sure Gradient Mesh is checked when you expand the gradient. So now you'll end up with, if you go to the, the wireframe, a masked object, um, which is essentially a masked gradient. So if you hit Control Alt 7 and then Ungroup, go to the wireframe, you can see there's the mask. So now we're left with this kind of bizarre gradient mesh. And what you do is use your sub selection tool, select that node there, or this, any one of these nodes around here in this perimeter, just hit delete. So now we have a gradient mesh with four points, just like a circle, <coughs> and one in the center. So take, move it up somewhere in here. I'm going to fudge this a little bit. Yeah, that's probably fine. Shift select the object below and then go to Object, Envelope Distort, and make with Top Object. And now you eliminate this little weird thing that's going on here in the original and you end up with a conical gradient. So now we're going to have to rescale this to fit. Let's go back to the wireframe. I'm going to kill the original here and then just holding shift and drag and get it to move out. Alright, so <clears throat> what you may run into, and I think we will here, is in this particular instance, if you notice, there's a slight uh, color difference here. And that's easy to be uh, adjusted as well. I could show you how we can get around that. So let's draw another circle. I'm going to make it the exact same size. Okay. What's going on here? Didn't get my circle. There we go. And I'm going to create another gradient. I'll lay this directly over top. Let's lock those two objects so that I'm only selecting these. And then with those two selected, I'm going to make a mask. Now, by default, it's going to look something like this. And that's okay. Because we can come back in with the mask selected, go to our gradient tool, we're going to shift this over 
to about here and then bring this back to somewhere about here should be fine and now you don't have such a hard transition on this wraparound edge because what's happening is the gradient starts here works its way around progressively but we want it to kind of rotate straight in and putting a mask on that object seems to do the trick go back to our object here draw two to unlock everything and there you go uh, conical gradient hope this helps